Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Dibble, one of the cardiologists at Pace in Barrie. And today I wanted to talk to you about coronary artery disease. Specifically, I want to explain the difference between angina and heart attacks, because a lot of people are confused about what the difference is. Angina is caused from a decrease in circulation to the heart when it needs it. And generally that will show up as a discomfort, a tightness or a heaviness in the middle of the chest. And that usually happens because there's a narrowing there and it's fixed. It may have been progressing over years so that usually when people are at rest, they're okay. But when the heart needs to work a bit harder, like if you're walking up a hill, that decrease in discomfort will cause a problem. A heart attack is very different. It's when a narrowing in the heart arteries suddenly ruptures and clots off. And some of that clot can go downstream and block off small vessels, or it can block the entire vessel right at the spot where it happened. That will be a sudden onset of a very crushing, tight, heavy discomfort that often makes people feel sick to their stomach or short of breath or sweats, and they can feel very panicked about it. Although that can happen with a tight narrowing, sometimes heart attacks happen when there's a narrowing that's not so bad, and yet it was still unstable, it's still ruptured, it's still clotted off, and it still caused the problem. So there, that's the difference between angina, which is generally a stable symptom, and heart attacks, which can be a very serious and life-threatening situation where you need to call 911 and get to the hospital right away. But, so coronary artery disease happens when there's a de gradual development of narrowings over time, and they have to be about this tight before they would cause symptoms of angina. Whereas a heart attack happens when it ruptures and suddenly completely clots off, no blood flow is getting through. Heart attacks can happen with a tight narrowing but they can even happen down at earlier stages where the narrowings aren't so bad, but they're still unstable. 